general, with apologies to Christopher Smart. For well, firstly, he maketh many quips, and is tireless in his merriment. For secondly, he is never weary of teasing, and his puns are legion. For thirdly, he utters haiku in the morning. For fourthly, he speaks poems in the afternoon. For fifthly, in the evening, he speaks volumes. For sixthly, he is generous with his praise, his books, and his advice. For he distributes all these liberally. For he weareth odd socks, and is unrepentant. For he weareth this Panama hat, and careth not that the crown is broken. For he loves fry-ups. For his creation of fry-ups, with a profusion of heat and oil. For his love of open cupboard doors. For his ability to stack almost all the crockery in the house into the kitchen sink. For his ingenuity in filling the dishwasher. For his rendering of pans richly coated and black. For his gifts of cups of tea at any hour of day or night. For his voice, which is deep and sonorous when he is calm. And high and shrill when he is wrong. Oh, what's that? For his hair. is titled Robert Grant by, by the young. For he is not proud except when others scorn him. For he is not scornful except when others are proud. For he offers his chest as a pillow. For he offers his hands to warm his mistress' feet. For he carries the history of his ancestors in his head and can divulge it. For he carries the history of his love in his heart and can utter them in songs. For these things, I love my husband, Elmer. Um, this one is about... And when you're 50, you start getting saga magazines sent to you. Um, Bastards. You can't stop them, actually. They just keep sending them. I've tried and tried. Bastards. And there's some amazing advertisements in it. Um, so this poem is inspired by those advertisements. It's called, this is a quote from the magazine, Start living your tomorrow from today. Cross your closest friends from your Christmas list and write dead across their names. Begin ordering all your food online because you fear you may fall over if you go shopping on foot. If you go out, take a stick with you to trip up younger walkers. Ignore people if they speak quietly and tell them not to shout if they speak loudly. Get a hearing aid, a state-of-the-art hearing aid. Don't wear it. Get a stair lift and ride up and down just for fun. It's never been easier, says Saga magazine. Move closer to your doctor's surgery. Make a will and tell all your relatives not to expect an inheritance unless they visit you often, with flowers and chocolates and wine on your birthdays. Wear a support stocking and or a truss, whether you need it or not. Take a new driving test. Fail it by driving the wrong way round on roundabouts. Remind any young people you meet that you've seen it all before. Get a cat and overfeed it. Bring radio shows to complain about decimalisation and the price of food, cat food. Write poems about getting old. Thank you. <laughs>